Hello Chipmunk and Chipette fans, my name is Grandy Tamias, and welcome back to another Alvin and the Chipmunks elaboration video. Today's topic being, should Little Alvin and the Minimunks get a re-release? For those of you who have never heard of Little Alvin and the Minimunks, well, I can't say I blame you, for reasons that I'll explain soon. Anyway, it's a 2003 live-action direct-to-video movie produced by Bagdasarian Productions, which stars the Alvin and the Chipmunks characters as toddlers portrayed using puppets. It features Ross Bagdasarian Jr. playing David Seville for the only time in live action, and Janice Carmen as Lalu, one of several characters created uniquely for this movie. It was also filmed entirely in their own house on a comparatively small budget. Now, I could go on and explain the movie's plot and lots of other trivial information, but for the sake of brevity, I'll save that for its own retrospective video in the future. So I'll skip to the point of this video and elaborate why you likely haven't heard of Little Alvin and the Money Monks, which is also the reason why I posed the question of this video's title. That reason being, it's essentially lost media. Sort of. About two months ago, I stumbled upon a Reddit post titled Alvin and the Chipmunks 2003 Direct-to-DVD Puppet Movie about one fan's attempt to find the film since they were very curious about it. A link to the post will be in the description. At one point, they even mentioned yours truly regarding a post I had made on Monkopedia over two years ago. Another fan was asking why the film was so hard to find, to which I responded, I'm not sure if there's a definitive answer to this question, but as far as I know, a relatively small amount of Mini Monk DVDs were ever produced, and I don't know why they didn't produce more. I doubt we'll ever get a re-release of it anytime soon. I'll get to that DVD part in a moment. But first, I want to mention that the information that I'm about to tell you should be taken with a grain of salt. I can't exactly give any sources, since official recorded details about this film and its distribution are so non-existent, so I will be primarily going off of what I have been told through conversations about it with certain Alvin and the Chipmunks fan communities, some members of whom are among the few people who are fortunate enough to own a copy of Mini Monks, and it's my connections through them how I'm able to have screenshots to show you throughout this video. Now then, on to why Mini Monks is so rare. First, despite its rarity, yes, I have seen Little Alvin and the Minimunks. Years ago. Up until, I think, September of 2017, the film used to be on YouTube in six parts, but it was taken down by Bagdasarian because of copyright reasons. I don't have any screenshots to prove that, so I think some of the more experienced fans may have to vouch for me on this one or correct me, I'm not entirely sure. By then, I had seen it enough times to memorize the basic plot and events, but eyewitness accounts are the weakest form of evidence, so, like I said, grain of salt, especially after the few years it has been. And Bagdasarian Productions, I apologize for viewing Mini Monks for free on YouTube back then, but it was the only alternative to paying hundreds of dollars on eBay. Had it been made more widely available on digital or physical copy at a more modest price, I would definitely have supported such an official release. I understand copyright is important, and that'll play a factor I'll mention later in the video. Moving on, and speaking of eBay, I have seen listings for it between $200 and $400, with some rumors I've heard of listings going into the $2,000 range. Amazon wasn't any help either, as they have it completely out of stock. Like I said, in that Mungapedia post, only a small amount of Mini Monk DVDs were ever produced. 2,000 units from what I've been told by other longtime fans, and I think the movie's CD soundtrack had about the same number of units as well. In fact, maybe even less, because I haven't been able to find any listings of it anywhere. I cannot for the life of me think of why the DVD manufacturers would have thought 2,000 units would suffice. Like, I don't even know how they would have been distributed. This is like the Rick and Morty Szechuan sauce thing, except without the real world riots. Hopefully it never comes to that. If they were ever available at retail, those stores should feel honored that they got to sell a now lost piece of Alvin and the Chipmunks history. So that's the primary reason why Little Alvin and the Mini Monks is so obscure. Too many fans, not enough copies to go around. And when faced with lost media, I offered a solution- <laughs> Okay, I'm done playing around. In the nearly 17 years since the DVD's release, most of the copies, for all we know, could have been accidentally destroyed or just sitting in someone's DVD collection collecting dust. Who knows? 
Now, earlier, I mentioned that Bagdasarian Productions copyright struck Mini Monks when it was on YouTube in 2017. And around that same time, they also started a YouTube channel of their own, which is now mostly dormant, save for the occasional behind-the-scenes video. Given that they, at one point, had a lot of their pre-CGI-era content on the channel, including the Chitmunk Adventure split into several parts, I find it odd that they didn't make Mini Monks available there after exercising their copyright of it. In fact, Bagdasarian, for the most part, has kind of swept Mini Monks under the rug. Barring a possible reference in the episode Slippin' Through My Fingers, where Alvin wears a baby costume in a dream sequence with a lowercase a similar to his toddler self in Mini Monks. However, it did finally get some attention not that long ago when it was revealed that the song Friends from the film's aforementioned soundtrack was used in the CGI 2015 Alvinverse, whatever you want to call it, episode Chimp Mania. The episode hasn't aired in the US yet, just in France and the UK as far as I'm aware, but once this whole COVID-19 thing is over, the rest of the world should start seeing regular premieres again. However, one concern I have is that little kids of the 2020s aren't going to be entertained by puppet movies anymore. I have a little brother who's in the Mini Monks age demographic, and all he watches is animated stuff. Gone are the days of Sesame Street in its prime, or Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. But today, kids just don't seem to be interested in live-action stuff or real people interacting with puppets anymore. Or at least the networks don't seem to want to try doing shows like that anymore. My nostalgia trip and TV network rant aside, it's those kinds of educational puppet shows and short movies I liked around the age of five, and had I known about Mini Monks back then, I would have loved it to death. Heck, now that I think about it, I would have loved it if they had made a Mini Monks TV show, even if it was just one season, like 20 episodes, that would have been perfect. Although, I'm not sure if they would have had to have construct a completely different set, or keep filming in their own home, I don't know. To conclude, I definitely want Little Alvin and the Mini Monks to be re-released, so that I can show it to my little brother, and I'm optimistic that there's still an audience out there who would find it entertaining. Hopefully it would be a big enough audience that Bagdasarian would make a profit off of a re-release. Preferably I would like a physical DVD or Blu-ray, but even if it's just on Netflix for a while, I would be satisfied. Anyway, feel free to let me know in the comments if you would like for there to be a re-release of Little Alvin and the Mini Monks, along with any suggestions you have for any future Alvin and the Chipmunks elaboration video topics because I'm starting to run low. If you thought this video was worth your time in watching, please consider leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't, and sharing this video with other Alvin and the Chipmunks fans you may know. In fact, could somebody please share this to that Reddit post I mentioned? I bet that user would be very surprised. With all that said, thank you and have a nice day.